Hi everybody, this is Steve Showalter with ScanForce and I'm going to show you guys the inventory automation solution for Sage Intact. What you're looking at here is an emulation of a device that I have in my hands being displayed on my screen. The ScanForce app can run on any device, iOS or Android or even PCs, so it's extremely flexible. Now we have limited time here today, so I'm going to kind of get right to it and show you just a portion of the entire solution. One thing I would like to notice is that our solution is seamlessly tied in to the Intact database, meaning it's really an extension of the inventory component of Intact. You're not maintaining two separate databases or anything. And it centers around inventory control, typically receiving, shipping, and then what you do with inventory, like count it, move it, and things of that nature. So diving into this here, what you're looking at is the login screen when you launch our app. So you indicate who you are. Now, ScanForce doesn't occupy intact users. We leverage web services, but we do track what happens on the device. So you have that history of who did what in our management portal. You can even build reports from there if you want. The login here not only allows us to trace that, but also allows us to control permissions. Who's allowed to do what within our app? So I'm, I'm logged in here, or I'm about to log in. I don't have a password set for mine, so I'm gonna be able to just simply tap accept. The password allows you to go ahead and have it set up so that people can't log in with someone else's permissions. It also supports multiple entities if that's how you have your intact system set up. The entity also could be tied to the user so they don't have to be prompted for that. Once again, I'm gonna hit accept and here's an example of our main menu. So I have mine set generically as inbound transactions, which would be things like receiving or directly bringing items into inventory without a purchase order. Outbound, which would be shipping. So we have ways that you can go ahead and do a pick pack ship or a one step ship. Um, and again, ScanForce is as flexible as your intact system. So where you can set up customized workflows and transaction definitions, you can do the same uh, with ScanForce and it follows right along with how you have your intact system set up. Inventory transactions, some example there might be moving items. So I'm gonna transfer an item from a warehouse to another warehouse or maybe from bin location to another bin. I might simply issue items out of inventory. I'm not selling them to anybody, but I wanna issue it out of my inventory. Maybe that's uh, sample items. You know, you're going to a trade show, we're giving them to customers. You also could re relieve inventory due to damaged items or scrap items. And once again, however you have that set up, tying it back to GL and whatnot back in intact will follow right along with the transactions you're automatically creating here. Under counts, you can do a cycle count periodically, or you could do an annual physical inventory. And then utilities are simply, if you want to do something like an item inquiry, or the alias maintenance allows you to actually link a barcode or the data in a barcode to your item number. Great example of that is if you bring in items that are UPC barcoded, but your item number is not the UPC code itself, the entire one. So what you do is you would go ahead and have that set up as an alias. So therefore, for all of your transactions on the mobile app here, you can scan the uh, UPC code, and it's going to automatically recognize that as the item in intact that it's linked to. So in my intact instance, I actually have a purchase order and a sales order that I'm going to show you guys how to ship really quickly. Again, we don't have time to get into all the details here, but on the inbound side, I'm going to go ahead and launch PO receiving. You can barcode a PO number, ask your vendor to barcode it on the packing list, anything you can to go ahead and get a barcode to scan or simply do a lookup. And it's reading the data real time from my intact system. So here are my POs that are available. If I have a large list of POs, I can search by either the vendor name or the PO number. I'm simply just gonna select my last one here, hit accept. And this is doing a pretty cool thing here. It's connecting up to intact to grab the data for that PO and it indexes it locally on the device. That's important because it allows the solution to be truly mobile. You're not tied to a wireless connection at all points. If you lose your connectivity, you're still gonna get data lookups and even data validation. And then you can send your data back to trigger the automatic creation of the transaction back in intact when you're back in coverage. Now you'll see here it's prompting for a warehouse code. This is an optional piece. You can simply accept the warehouse code from the purchase order, um, or you can allow the user to change it. Again, the warehouse code could also be tied to the user as well. So I'm gonna accept the warehouse code. I'm using bins in my intact system, so it's gonna ask me for bins. Um, not all items have to be set up that way, but if you are using bins in your intact system, we're gonna ask you for that on the device because we have to know the location it's going to. Um, if you're not using bins, you simply just wouldn't see this. Now, I'm gonna hit a look up here and just grab a bin. A common thing we can do is actually set that to default to a bin generically called receiving, where the people on the receiving dock may not know where it goes in the warehouse right off the bat, but you wanna record the receipt. Put it under just a hold bin. You can even do a quality check at that point. Bottom line is you can do your receipt and then do a put away or a bin transfer from that receiving or hold bin out into the actual warehouse. Now you'll see here it's asking me for items. So if I do have a barcode to scan and I scan one that's not an item on the purchase order, even if I'm not connected, I get an instant data validation telling me, hey, this is not on the order. 
I also have the ability to select from that display, or you can lock that down and force the user to scan it. I'm gonna actually select from this lookup, which is very handy if you're doing receiving and items aren't already barcoded. You can indicate it simply by tapping on the screen. Whether you scan it in, key it in, or choose from that lookup, when you give it a uh, valid item number, the program automatically now knows to prompt for quantity, the numeric keypad pops up, and you have item information here. Another thing I'll point out is there's a print button here. So if you're using our mobile print uh, solution in conjunction with this, you can actually customize your own labels and barcodes to look how you want and trigger those labels to print right as you're doing the receiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and key in my quantity. We validate quantity. So if I try to key in too many, it's gonna alert me to that. We also catch you if you don't receive enough in, we're gonna alert you that there's an unresolved line item and give the user a chance to either correct a mistake or simply just be aware of the fact they didn't receive enough in from the vendor. If you don't receive enough in then and you have back ordering set up back in your intact system, that'll flow right through creating the back order. So let's go ahead and grab the second item here in our quantity. Continue on. When I'm done, I hit the button at the top there. You'll see those unresolved lines that I mentioned there are alerted to as well. I'm going to hit my send data. This does connect back up now, and it's going to go ahead and automatically create my PO receiver. Or if you have a different workflow set up, whatever your destination document is based off of the PO, that's where it'll go ahead and create the transaction. So once again, it's extremely flexible, but it connects up and does it all for you. Now I'm going to back out of this and now show you guys the shipping of a sales order. Very similar to what we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and go into outbound this time. As I showed you guys earlier, there is the picking or staging of orders. So you can do a multi-step process, pick, pack, and then actually ship. If you have our mobile ship solution, then uh, it'll actually allow you to print off your shipping labels directly from the mobile device here. It'll look to the sales order and know exactly which carrier it is, whether it's UPS, uh, USPS, or FedEx. And then it'll auto-populate that data in there and you can indicate a weight tap a button and boom, your shipping labels actually uh, print out. Now I'm gonna do just a one step uh, process here, again, based on time. I do not have my shipping uh, or mobile ship solution tied into this at the moment. So I'm gonna go into SO shipping. Just like on the receiving side, if you have something to scan, you can scan it or you can simply do a lookup, connects up real time to intact, grab my order, pulls it onto the device. Once again, it's now on the device. If I happen to lose my connectivity, I still get the ability to continue to pick and ship this order. Once again, the same options with warehouse that I mentioned on the receiving side. And here are my items to, to pick. Now you'll see here at the top, there's a package. So this ties into the shipping as well. So you can group items by package. With the shipping, there will be another icon here. that is a scale that when you tap that, then you can go through your shipping process and get your labels to print on. Even if you're not using shipping, you may want to leverage the ability to group items by package. In our management portal that I referenced earlier, as far as transaction history, we also keep what's packaged together. So if you needed to go back and see when did this order ship and what items were packaged together, you have that data back in our management portal. Again, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. So let's say I have package one, putting this first item in. Again, you could scan this and disable the ability to look up if you wanted to. I'm gonna to go to package two simply by tapping on that icon and let's go ahead and scan our next item here. We scan it, confirm our quantity, we're done. We send our data back over to intact. It will once again convert that based on the destination document. So we look to the source document, which is in this case a sales order, destination document, an example would be a shipper back in intact. Bottom line is it's all automated for you. Everything's validated instantly on the mobile device and it's easy to use, prompting the user exactly through what data is needed. Thank you so much for your time.